Hello and welcome back to Mr. and Mrs. Frog's product reviews. Today we are going to be doing this shelf. This is called the Super Jar. Well, that's what, it, that's what it is on Amazon. We got this on Amazon. This is essentially to go with our Nespresso Vertro. We wanted to have something a little bit more, I don't know, just have it, you know, set up on one place. So we got this, it's got some shelves. I'm gonna go through the whole building process with you today. I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do it. And then after we're done building it, we're gonna go over exactly what we think about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit down. We're gonna get into this box. Uh, the reason why I decided to build this on the, on the video is due to the fact that people actually like to see this. So we're gonna go over this with step-by-step uh, -step instructions. Mrs. Frog will try to get as close as possible when we do that. And hey, you stop there, you naughty little dog. So we have our instruction booklet. This is going to be our bag of hardware. You're gonna have little hooks in here. You're gonna have all your screws. Every single screw in this bag is going to have a letter that's going to correlate to the instruction manual that's going to show you where to put those and how to utilize each piece. You're going to have your power cable. This is going to be a two 110 volt that comes with an extent, well not an extension cord, you plug this in and you'll have two outlets on there. So if you say you want to have like a your coffee maker and then your Sensi warmers or whatever else you can utilize that second plug. Uh, this is just an empty bag from that. So we are going to pull this out. This is piece number two. That looks like the bottom piece. These here both look the same. This one here also has a two on it. So those are going to be side by side. This is going to be a number one piece Another one piece, these here are, it's always good to go through here and get out all of your, all of your pieces. You got some more packing foam, styrofoam, a little L-shaped bracket. This is clearly marked number three, so that will be the third piece. Number 10, this here is what your plug is going to screw in clearly. Your other L bracket that is number three as well. You've got number nine. This is going to probably possibly be your top shelf. If you're wondering, this is, I think the, um, I think it said it was, we'll measure it when, when we're done. I will go get the measuring tape and we will measure the dimensions, show you that. Uh, this right here is gonna be one of your main shelves, this is how big they're gonna be. They're gonna sit flat like this. These here are just protectors for your corners for right now during shipping. You should have a total of three of these. This one here is number eight. This one here is a little bit less. That one's not as long as that one, so clearly um, another eight. These here are going to be probably your inner shelves. Tons more packing foam in here. I'm just going to stack all that up. Get all the foam out. These here are just straight. Number five. Number five. These here are... This, these are just little bars that will find out exactly where they go. And these here are gonna be cross frame supports. They're basically gonna be like this and they're gonna add support. So we will go over how to do every single piece of this and that is all for the box. So, now that we've got all that out, let's get our boards over here. Get our frame material. All right, here is all laid out. Try to get these numbers up so 
that we could see those. Don't worry if these are bent, they are really fun. You'll be able to put those back together. It's all your wood. Let's get our little bars. Instructions, and uh, go ahead and come close so we can see what this is going to look like when it's done. And now we will begin. So obviously these ones right here have got things on the bottom. These are going to be on the bottom. I'm assuming you need a helper. Don't forget to over tighten everything. Now this here is calling for. Go ahead and pull out our bags. All right, so we have a bag of C. We have a bag of F. We have the I. We have H, which are safety straps. We have D. We have B, we have E, G, S hooks, building tools, A, J, and then H, like I said. So we have all of those. Now we are parts. Number one, we have both number one. We have both of number two, both of number three, two number fours, two number fives, two number sixes are going to be these. We've got the one longer board on the bottom, two of the eights, the one nine, and the one ten. So it looks like our, our set is complete. We have everything. Now we can go ahead and move all of these over to here. And then each piece in the instructions, I mean, we're going to review the instructions as well. So, where it starts off, step one, we are going to assemble, and we'll take our number two, and clearly one of our number ones, and then these are going to go... Just like this. And you'll notice how to do it right because you'll have two little two little holes right there and they'll be on both of them. And then the other side will just slide on, but it looks like both holes are gonna line up on both sides. So, but it also looks like these here are going to be like right here. And then you'll have longer screws that will go through those and thread into them. So actually, let's go ahead and do that now. So these right here, they call for F. So the F ones are going to be your longer ones, longer screw. And you're going to have one for each side. I would recommend putting that on there. There's, you're not going to be able to mess this up because there's only one hole. There's only one hole on this side that you're gonna stick this bad baby through. And then you will just kind of thread that in with your fingers. And then come to the other side. Do the same thing. The reason why I do say the fingers is because that there is going to show you and then you just kind of spin it on with your fingers. That way you'll know if you've got good thread holes in there. So that side right there is almost complete. We also have two C's. The C 
see are going to be these bad babies right here. And let's see, you're going to take those out. You're going to need four total for this one. Because each of those four holes are going to get are going to get a C. Now this frame is very very light. This thing is not very heavy at all. Sometimes that can be good. It's very easy to move around, but it also adds instability to it. I would go ahead and just thread these in by hand. There's no need to go all out with tools. You know, want to make sure you got some nice good threading in there. Thread them in as far as you can. My little trash panda's over there in the into everything. So after you get them threaded in a little ways with your fingers, go ahead and pull your tools out. You're gonna have two Allen wrenches. You're gonna have this little wrench looking thing that are they're not usually useless, but to be completely honest with you, oh, and this one here has a Phillips head screwdriver on there, but I'm going to use my Phillips head for that. You just want these snug. If you over tighten them, you got to look at the steel. It's literally, you just put them in there until they're snug. Pandy. eating all the cat food. Just go ahead and snug these babies up. And then obviously, what is that? Oh, those are Phillips. So we will use Phillips screwdriver. <coughs> Stick that baby in there. Like I said, just enough to tighten it. Might have to hang on to it with your patty cake. Because it looks like it kind of wants to spin a little bit, but these are not very thick screws. So that is that side complete. You've got all your hardware in there. You've got both your screws. You've got the two screws. This here is going to be the little thing for you to hang your little S clips on. So we're gonna go ahead and set this one aside and then we are going to build the second one. So we got number two, which is our bottom. Number one, which is our top. And flip that around, you're gonna make sure your two holes are gonna line up with these two holes and then the front two holes on that side. That is where you're going to thread. give it a little pop make sure it goes on don't be afraid it's just really flimsy metal so we're gonna go back to our C's first Ooh, where do we put C at all right there's our other F so we'll just go ahead and drop F out right now and then I believe these are C and then 4C okay so 4C like I said Make sure you do these with your fingers first. Do not use power tools on this. It will destroy it very fast. And let me just, let me just, uh, I'll show you what I mean in just a second. You can kind of see this. That's how thin they are. They are almost paper thin. So if you try to use a power tool on this, you will strip them out and you will ruin this and it will not be worth it. That's why you just snug this down. Do not over crank on these. That is very important if you want this to last and especially if you ever want to take it apart to move it, do not over tighten this because it is going to, these are basically designed to build one time, but you can get away with you can sometimes get away with uh, taking them apart and rebuilding them one time. But this thing is so light, I don't think you would have to take this thing apart. I mean, once you get that wood on there, that wood does weigh a little bit, but...
Oh boy, those threads are a little bit tight on that side. So, again, just take your screwdriver, hold your bar, thread that in. Nice and snug. Flip it around. Do the same on this side. This is a Phillips head screwdriver. I'm using the number three tip for these. From the Milwaukee screwdriver. And then we'll go back to using our supplied Allen wrench for these. I like to use the supplied tool for this just because it's very hard to ruin these if you use these, to be completely honest with you. There's no way you're getting a ton of torque on it with these <laughs> to strip anything out. Okay, so once you have those on, for step number two, you're gonna put your, it looks like, it looks like we're going to, to five. So five is going to go on the second hole up. So you'll look on the paper and it's gonna have these, these holes, these, these holes are gonna have double on this side and right here. That's going to be the back of your cart. So what you're going to do in this case is you will move those over there and you'll set your bars, your number fives. So it looks like they go on the bottom holes and those are going to be the A bolts. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to look through here for A. A are going to be a little bit longer. And you're gonna need a total of four of those. They're gonna be longer. So what you're gonna do with this one here is just stick your bolt through the bottom on the on the uh, on the bottom one, on both of those. And you see how I got it sitting here on the bottom on the back. You'll just kind of start. You'll want to flip your little five over so it's facing the back, so you don't have to see it every time. But then you just kind of. Thread that thing through. These are very, very long. You don't need to tighten them up completely just yet because you're just gonna grab your other side The same right here. Just flimsy nonsense. Just laying it on its back first and then it's what we're going to do to tighten it is once we've got all these in enough to where we can essentially have it hold itself up kind of and then I believe it's going to still be the bigger one. You'll just grab that, hold it, try to keep it nice and level as you're tightening it. Where's number five on the back of that one? <laughs> number five is back on the back now. You just go ahead and let it pull itself together. And I will put a link to this shelf if it is something that you are interested in. 
at Amazon if you have yourself a Nespresso Vertuo. Vertuo. You will be able to find this. Or any coffee machine. Oh, yeah. No, you have to get Vertro for this <clears> one. <throat> so, there you go. Now, that there is going to be a nice, stable frame. That actually doesn't feel too bad. It does feel a little bit... Not exactly 100%. So now we're going to go over to the next part of the instruction manual, which is page number six. So now this is saying that we're going to put our wood in there. Now this one here is kind of interesting. So you're going to take both of your number eight woods. And the way these are going to go in there, they're already going to have pre-drilled holes. So you're going to set this in, in there. Well, it should. You might have to, you might actually have to uh, loosen up one side. Which, which is fine. We'll loosen up just the two on this side over here. You don't want to be smashing. You don't want to be smashing the stuff in there. You don't. You don't want to like mess up your paint and mess up the wood. So you'll see that, and that's how that's going to fit. It's just right in between there. But you're going to need your hardware for this, which is E. Now, this shelf and this shelf is what it looks like. Yeah, and E are going to be. Oh man, really? Looks like those are gonna be the same type. I mean, these are gonna be more of a wood looking screw, but they are still going to be hex head. So, the first shelf is going to go down here. Now, lining these up sometimes might be a little bit frustrating at first, but once you kind of fill your way into that hole, it's really not and you'll you'll know you'll know that you're in there because right when you're right when you start getting it right when you start to fill it it starts to tighten up pretty quickly on this if you were going like underneath the board or in the wrong spot like you would know pretty quickly yep I'm underneath it it's not even trying to thread get all four of these basically in there so and once you got them in then you go ahead and take your are you serious it's gonna be the small one huh so that sucks you're gonna go wood screw with the little one you do the first one Almost tight. Second one. Almost tight. Remember, you're going to have to put your other piece of wood in there, so don't over tighten these just yet. Once you've got all your wood and everything lined up, then you will go ahead and just do them all at the same time. You're being naughty. You're being naughty tonight. Now we're up here. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We are going to hunt for our holes. Don't get frustrated with it. Usually they line up pretty easily. And we can start right here in the front because that one there's got that for the back. So we'll just go ahead and start on this side. Kind of just push the thing into the hole. Just kind of pull it apart a little bit so you can see it. And then the back ones line up far easier because it's got that, that 
bracket goes across the back on there. I might just have to grab that thing with you. Some. Huh. This side does not want to line up right. Go ahead and undo this just a little bit. Yeah, so I had to undo this other thing to get that one to start. Now we'll take our small one, go ahead and bring that in just a little bit. Bring this side in just a little bit. Now I'm going to flip this around and I'm just going to point the camera at that to show you how far I mean about just tightening them in just a little bit. Just enough, you'll, like, you'll see the, the thicker part of this screw. Once you get there, probably just stop right there. That'll give you enough in there to be able to at least keep it steady. All right, now once you get all those in there, So that, I mean, this one here, yeah, so we did that and that. E and E, now they want you to do the, now they want you to do this, this part. So is what we are going to do. So theoretically, you could have another shelf right here, or you can have this one on the bottom. Because the other one's going to go on the top. So, okay, that's, yeah, that just doesn't. Oh. Okay, so if you are going to use the top shelf, then we put this bar in the wrong spot. We're going to move it up. Okay, so I need to get like that off of there. So, in the, and see, this is one of those things that it doesn't tell you. Like, it doesn't tell you. It shows you to put it right here, but then it doesn't tell you that if you're putting this, when you put the top shelf on, you're going to need it up there. Or else they uh, just gave me one less shelf, which is less likely because it was only showing that we had all our boards, all three parts. Oh, boy. I mean, that's pretty much the next part after this anyway. So we'll get our board up here. Get our bar on. And that's one of those things I don't like because I hate having to undo these and put them back in. Just the way the threads when I tighten them down the first time. Okay, so this is obviously the front of your new shelf. And now we are getting to the crossbars. So you're going to have, okay, where's that showing? That's showing it goes under here. Okay, so there are these like nicer looking threads on here, but this is calling for C. 
And then there's a C and a D. So C and D. D is the thing that you're going to need your little wrench and this. So you got two of these bad boys. And I guess it obviously clearly doesn't matter which side you put them on, but it looks like And you won't tighten that just yet because you're going to want to put your screws in here and then you'll tighten that last. This is another reason why you leave that there loose on the sides and stuff so you can get these on, no problem. to show you this now these four holes they have like a little lip around them before you part start putting these on there I probably should have showed you guys that but you'll see that it's just right above on the one side so go ahead and bring all of your stuff together because from this point forward um, the stability of the bottom of this now should be so you'll go ahead what I like to do is just turn it on that side and then go through and tighten every single thing on that side if you tighten these too much they are gonna bend the frame a little bit of flex is okay but don't overdo it That's our small one. Now you're just going to tighten every one of these. If, they, if you already tightened them, just put another good little twist on those. Then back, flip it over. Um, go ahead and tighten these ones. Oh, actually, let's tighten the wood first. And see if it'll suck those down real quick. Feels good. Yeah, feels good. Flush. Now if you can see like a little gap in there. Go ahead and tighten this one down, and that should pull the gap right out of that. It looks nice and clean, very straight, and it got rid of our wobble. Very nice. Okay, and um, then after you've gotten that all tight, go ahead and tighten up your your cross stabilizer. This is going to keep that stable. Uh, it does look like you could potentially put these on backwards, but this went on 
the right way. Um, you'll see, let me come over here a little bit, point the camera down here at this angle. You can see how it's kind of flat on there. That could have potentially been on there backwards. So, or look backwards when it goes on there. And you're going to grab your little wrench thing, stick them on here, and you will tighten this. And now there is the bottom half of this. Okay, so we're going to move all this over here just for a second. Okay. Now we are going to number seven, which is putting this cap on there. Now, you'll see like the little drilled holes for you already for that. And then these are going to get B screws. So you basically just set that up there on top. Uh, Rummage through your hardware until you find B. Ooh, B are pretty long. So you'll need four of those. And then what I like to do is just kind of lift it up a little bit. And then set that. Try to find that hole. Like I said, just get them in there with your finger. Same on this side. Once you got two of them lined up, you shouldn't have a problem with the other side. And you should just be able to go right up the hole and get it if they are drilled out correctly, which they usually are. Usually don't have a whole lot of problem with this stuff. I need to be patient with it. Usually works out in the end. So this is going to be your little bit bigger thing. And once you got a couple of those in there, you actually can just flip it over and then tighten them down. You don't want to overdo it because those look like they were plastic inserts. They were thre plastic threaded, so just enough to get it tight. You don't want to pull those things right back out of the hole because then that just sucks. that now we'll flip it back over that is the front of your shelf and now for the next part the next part of this is going to be a little bit different so this part here is showing these being stuck on through there so now with number you had more of the little nut head the little nuts that you just put this cross member on. So you got four of those. <clears throat> and then you've got four A. So A are, again, the longer ones. Now is what you're going to do, uh, looks like we had one A left. You're going to take one. Let's see, where is it putting the nuts? Yep, so the nuts are going on the front according to this. They want you to have those in the front. So what I would do is take that. Is that really A? No way. Was that really D? interesting because you've got like three threads
Okay, well, I can already tell you, if that is really the case, I do not really like that. Yeah, that's what it's showing in the little picture, is those little cap nuts. They're just showing the A. Oh boy. <laughs> so go ahead and push those through. And then we're going to make sure those bad babies get a little bit tighter. Okay, now if you just leave them a little bit loose and let them hang there, you can make sure you've got this here nice and flat. So with this right here, we're gonna do, we're gonna put 10 on. It's not, I mean, it is asking for 10 in the very next one, but it also wants us to put in the, the wire. So just slide that through. You'll see the front, it's already got some pre-drilled holes a little bit. Um, ours is gonna be right there on that wall, so I think we'll have the cord running out. You can pick whatever side you want your cord to run out. All right, now this is going to be taking little screws called I. These are going to be like little wood screw type. They are going to be Phillips head and you are going to have to use a little bit of force to get these in. So I'll just line this up with those little started holes. awkward because of that cord but we'll just go ahead and thread that right in and that does feel pretty secure and then the next one just kind of try to get it to line up with the little indent it's not fully drilled out so you are going to have to put a little bit of threading power in there, which is kind of dumb. You're going to need a screwdriver because there's no way there's no way you were doing it with this. There's no freaking yeah that would have, there's there's no way. So you will need an actual real tool. And now this is something that not right now. Okay. We're. Uh, Filming this destruction video. Yeah. That's cute. This is our coffee bar. Very spent. What was this, like 60 bucks? Ooh, look, it's all floppy now. Like I said, on the this last This one was one, $70. $70. $70. How come I feel about grandma and them? Okay. Unless you want to be in the video right now. No, Dad. Not in this costume. Come on, kitty kitty. Ow. I'm going to go ahead and go against my original wisdom and just make these a little bit tight on the bottom ones. Okay, we'll just tighten those two on because it will be very next thing. Huh, he want you to put a, a little strap. So there, so there are some safety straps that you can strap into your wall and uh, you, can, you can secure it that way. We're not going to use that because we trust our kids a little bit to not play with this. But I believe B. You're going to need 4B for the top, which is going to go way up here. And then, like I did with the last one, just kind of 
get that in here oh. on the front and the back. You'll 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 fill it. I mean, if you if you're just patient, you'll fill it. Go in. Don't get frustrated with it. Remember, you paid seventy dollars for it. It looked nice in the picture. You want it to still be nice when you got it put together. And I believe in you. You can do it. Okay, now once you've got those in, you can go ahead and bring it back down on its side. And if you can find your tool, you will be able to tighten everything back down. So go ahead and finish this one off. Where the heck did I put that? these up. Yeah, this one's going to be kind of a pain in the butt on this, this first one. Just because of the fact that it's like right next to that and the other half of this is a screwdriver. I should have just sent you a little tiny screwdriver. I'm going to come over that way so that I can get that in there. So the other ones will just be able to spin it around in a circle, so you might as well do the hard ones first. Okay, and then go back up to the top. Go ahead and spin that one around in a circle. Nice and snug. I'm gonna flip this over. Because we still have this one to tighten down. We'll finish this one right here. There's tight, but you probably forgot that we still got to tighten these. So just hold that on there, crank a few times until it feels snug. Do the same thing on this side. It's okay, throw it at me. <laughs> yes, I will do so. So that cord right there is going to be a little bit of a I saw if you just let it hang down, but I'll be right back. Let me go grab two items.
and measure it from side to side real quick. You are right about 23, 23 and a half. And five eight. 23, 5, 8, 16, well, 15 and 3 quarter. And then this one here is going to stick out a little bit more, so you're going to be 16 and, uh, what is that, 16 and 7, 8, 5, 8, 5, 16, I mean. So now we're going to undo our little cord and then when you're, when you're looking at it, whatever way it's going to be facing, ours is going to be facing this way. So we're going to take our cord over to here. You don't want to zip tie? No. No, you don't want to zip tie? Okay, you don't want to zip tie it. She just wants it to hang right straight down the back. It's not gonna go right straight down the back. Just. Oh well, yeah, it's gonna go over to the side. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. So it's gotta skid it over that way. So there you go. So now you're gonna go ahead and fill off all your stickers that did not make it to the back. These should just come off. I usually leave them on until I'm done. That way I know I got all my pieces right. It is very simple. It looks pretty decent. Cleans up very nicely. It looks very good. What do you think? Is it exactly what you thought it was going to be? No. You don't like it, do you? It's fine. We'll see once we start putting things on it. shorter huh than what you thought no okay all right my friends well if you like this content don't forget to like and subscribe i told you guys i built stuff on the channel when we got the stuff so there you go there is your i don't even remember the name of it now your amazon shelf i'll put a link in the description at the bottom as well as the, uh, the name of the product and a, and a picture. So if you guys like this content, like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.